Next to the stage is an author, poet, artist who has received perfect scores at the world famous New Yorkan Poets Cafe and proudly serves as Calgary's seventh poet laureate and executive director of Calgary Queer Arts. Please join me in welcoming Sean Thistle. Talk about things to follow, people to follow. Holy Hannah. It says in front of us here, it says press the red button to begin your slides, and red is in red, which isn't alarming at all. Okay. Oh. Notoriously bad for that. Okay. Merriam-Webster's history of the word normal states, and I quote, what is normal is a fluid sort of thing. Worth repeating. What is normal is a fluid sort of thing. As Carla mentioned, my name is Sean Thistle, and I get to be your 2024 to 2026 Poet Laureate. How cool is that? And I love this city, you gave me community and family, but I'm not from here originally. I grew up on the unceded lands of the Lekwungen peoples, most colonially known as Victoria, British Columbia. And I spent my early years in Pacific Coast tidal pools, collecting critters on the beach. I also played baseball, captured garter snakes with rakes, swam naked in the lake, and delivered newspapers on my banana seat bicycle. I had hair like Spike from Degrassi High, and like a protege activist, organized a demonstration in support of an unfairly expelled peer in high school. Still, it wasn't until a midnight winter walk when my best friend came out to me that I silently came out to myself. She told me in a whisper. And from the moment she said bisexual, all I wanted to do was kiss her. Her late night confession felt like the most beautiful note that anyone had ever passed to me. So I folded it gently, put it carefully in my back pocket, and saved it for consideration at a later date. <laughs> she was my first coming out story. Years later, I wrote, dyke lesbian straight girl, woman bisexual homosexual riot girl, butch femme in the middle girl, lipstick chapstick, just call me queer girl. And I've slammed that poem across Canada and the United States, proud, to share my perfect scores from the New Yorkian Poets Cafe. Maybe a sign that times have changed. Maybe. I recently attended an arts dinner with a mix of guests, all presumably kind, and artists were considered special guests. Seating was assigned. And just as I was introduced, my neighbor from two doors down leaned across his wife and with an expression of pure amazement said he hoped he didn't offend me with his curiosity about the word queer in my bio. He clearly meant well. But then he goes on describing his relationship and his life as quote unquote normal adding that he and his wife met and married young, have two children, four grandchildren, don't know how many folks, don't know many folks that are gay, definitely no one who would describe themselves as queer. And I'd like to say I was shocked. But straight folks haven't cornered the market on binary thinking, have they? <laughs> Our community can be just as rigid, just as racist, just as unkind and close-minded. So I'd urge you to consider this evening 
your sweeping invitation to expand your imagination. Maybe relax a little about how many letters there are or are not or may someday be in the 2SLGBTQIA alphabet mafia. Otherwise, we may never get past that some Gs don't want to be associated with Ls. Some Ls are upset they were displaced by two Ss. We have soft masks and Ts that don't want to be NBs and Bs who continue to feel left out. Some Qs are questioning, but not all questioning are Qs. And then there's As, asexual, aromantic, allies, stay in any relationship long enough, and you too will eventually become an A. <laughs> but with the rate of change in our community, don't stress about it, it'll probably change. And lest we forget our intersex siblings, who take up as much space as redheads the world over, but are often mistreated, misrepresented, and mistaken for giving a shit what you think of their business bits. We seem too confused to have confused normal for sameness, but normal is fluid, factually in flux. Even monozygotic twins, happening one in every 250 bucks, tend not to be 100% identical, which leads me to marvel. Is evolution just nature's imagination? Because change it ain't that strange. In fact, it's the most normal, natural thing that exists. 17,500 of but species of butterflies subsist on tree sap and nectar. Tree sap and nectar. Words we made up to capture our learning. Language, my friends, is just our yearning to connect, understand, be understood. Maybe it's time we start returning to childhood, to the wonder that exists, the magic of curiosity, the joyful creativity found in discovery. Nectar, tree sap, presto and rainbow, words we just made up. And gender, like normal, will always will always just be a fluid sort of thing. Thank you.